defended by Ward. Dillingham jumper. Got it! Kentucky basketball releases non-conference schedule for Mark Pope's debut season. It's here. The non-conference schedule for Kentucky was released on Thursday giving us the first real look of the first few months of the 2024-25 season. Kentucky's non-conference will not be an easy one with games against Duke, Clemson, Gonzaga, Louisville and Ohio State as the headliners. Only the Clemson game will be a true road game, however. Duke is being played in Atlanta for the Champions Classic and the Gonzaga game is being played in Seattle, not Spokane. In total, Kentucky will have 13 non-conference games on the schedule, with the season opener on November 4 Mark Pope's debut at Kentucky. The most difficult stretch of the non-conference slate will be near the end when Kentucky plays Clemson, Gonzaga, Louisville and Ohio State in an 18-day stretch. Kentucky's game against Clemson will be the only true non-conference game game that will take place on the road. In total there are nine home games, one true away game and then three neutral site games. Kentucky is looking to get out of the first weekend of the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2019. Two of the last three years have been first round exits. Kentucky finished 23-10 last year with a 13-5 record in SEC play and received a three seed in the NCAA tournament. Mark Pope is coming into Lexington with one goal in mind, hang banner number nine. It's the goal and expectation for everyone on the roster and has been labeled as the assignment by everyone who has joined Pope in Lexington this offseason. Mark Pope's goals are clear at Kentucky. It's about national championships. There's no secondary goal or expectation. He understands that better than anyone else since he lived it and won one of the banners hanging inside Rupp Arena. But, he also understands that doesn't happen overnight and if you get too caught up in the end goal, the process and progress along the way can get hidden and forgotten. For Kentucky it hasn't been able to get out of the first weekend of the NCAA tournament since 2019, with two of the last three years resulting in first round exits. While Pope enters his debut season with Kentucky, there are some people bullish on his team despite the Wildcats having a roster made up of 12 players who have never played together. One of those is longtime ESPN analyst and college basketball icon Dick Vitale. Vitale listed Kentucky as one of his Sweet 16 teams heading into the season. With no Sweet 16 appearances since 2019, the Wildcats are looking to make a huge jump with new coach Mark Pope, Vitali wrote. With nine transfers and three freshmen, the Wildcats need time to mesh and gain confidence but should be primed come March. Like Vitali said, Kentucky will likely struggle early in the season due to the new faces all over the floor. In addition, a difficult non-conference schedule will likely yield some early season loses, but also pay dividends later in the season. In order to reach the potential of a Sweet 16 or even just making the NCAA tournament, getting better every day is a critical piece to the summer for Pope. The most important thing is we walk off the court a little better than we walked on. And we will accept nothing less, Pope said last month. We will be tyrannic about that and that's how you achieve that long-term goal of banner number 9, is getting better every day and that's why our guys are coming here. Time will tell what Kentucky's end result is this season. There's no question they have the talent to be a second weekend team. There are also a lot of questions at the current moment, including who will even start on this team come November. There's a lot of time between now and the season opener and Pope is making sure this team both coaches and players are doing everything they can do get better. Setting a goal every day, Pope said. Having a metric you can record and analyzing growth every single day. It may not be the NBA and it may not be in a massive professional league, but one former Kentucky guard is still making a name for himself after his days in Lexington. Isaiah Briscoe yes that Isaiah Briscoe was having a great stretch of play in the Big Three, the three-on-three -three league created by Ice Cube. Over the weekend, Briscoe lit it up and set a league scoring record. He scored 37 points to go along with 7 rebounds despite a loss. Briscoe was in his third season with the Big Three, playing every season with Trilogy. After a breakout frisk season, he is the leading scorer in the league through four games with a 20.5 point per game average. He has two 20 plus point games this season. Trilogy is coming off of back to back league championships in 2021 and 2022 before falling short in 2023. They have three championships in the league's six seasons. Briscoe joined the Big Three after having success overseas in the past few years. 
playing in Poland, Estonia, and Germany, his best success game with Kalaf slash Kramo in the Estonian Basketball League when he won the Young Player of the Year award given to players under the age of 23. Briscoe also spent some time with the Philadelphia 76ers and Portland Trailblazers in the NBA before going overseas. The New Jersey native spent two seasons at Kentucky under John Calipari where he averaged 10.9 points across 70 games. He went undrafted in the 2017 NBA Draft.